morning. This past Saturday, Allison and I went out looking for some corn. We bypassed a local grocery store and went right to a farm stand. You're going to pay about twice as much, which we did, but it was just like candy. It was so good. And while we were there, I noticed a pint of strawberries. And when I saw the strawberries, it took my breath away. I was stunned with the color. Take a look and see for yourself. Now, most of us buy strawberries at the grocery store that have been shipped early. They're not ripe. And then they oxidize them. They blast them with oxygen and the red comes out and they have the hint of strawberry. We tasted these strawberries. These were like from my childhood. They were unbelievable. I mean, this is back when you could get a, a strawberries for about a three or four week time period, then, then never again for the rest of the year. Now you can get anything anytime you want. But the flavor, oh, but here's the problem. They were so good that I will never again eat anything less. And I think that there's a lesson for us here. So let's talk about some examples. Have you witnessed customer service unlike any other? Have you been blown away by the way Apple at the store uh, covered your stupid mistake with grace and kindness and charity? Have you had Nordstrom? Handle something as a return that you didn't even buy there. You forgot, but they didn't care. They took it anyway. And what about sales? Have you ever been waited on someone who listened to you with their entire being and they asked questions and they helped you find the perfect solution and you felt heard and serviced in a way that you'd never been before? Have you sat on a Sunday morning at church and heard a preacher Talk on a subject that went right to your heart and soul as if he or she were speaking only to you. Have you sat with someone at a noisy party who made you feel like you were the only one in the room? There are examples of how it should be done all around you. The, the genuine smile from the young lady at Starbucks. The time you got a baker's dozen donuts without even asking. The auto mechanic who went above and beyond, and then said, no charge. Or the time you picked up a strawberry, the color strawberries should be, and you tasted heaven. And you thought, now I know what it should taste like and I can accept nothing less. Gang, the bar for how to handle yourself, the standard for how to listen, how to respond, how to sell, they're all around you. And once you witness it, you should accept nothing less from yourself. Pay attention. Learn from others. Emulate the best. And then be that example. One last thing, a quote from Reader's Digest. I live in a small town in New England where you don't lock your cars except for two weeks in August when if you leave your car open, you'll come back to it and your back seat will be filled with zucchini.